So I teach seventh grade Mesa science, and as a seventh grade Mesa science teacher, my job is to ensure that those underrepresented groups of students have an experience that is above and beyond the experience of a regular seventh grade student. Uh, she offers a lot more help than other teachers, and she focuses on us more than the assignment that we're doing. So Next Gen Science Standards, we are beginning to work on professional development within our district. And so um, part of my job is as secondary science teacher on special assignment, and I'm delivering those professional development opportunities. So this year has been focused on science and engineering practices, and that should be the main focal point for any Next Gen Science teacher. So would our muscular system then be a part of that? Yeah. And that's a really important piece. The volume is a thousand. That's how they're determining using this graph. And so I make it We're going to question. We're going to then begin to um, either design something or we're going to create an investigation around something and prove it or, or show that we can build a model, redesign that model, and make sense of the world around us. And that's the purpose. We get to do a lot of cool projects. They're entertaining and I like art, so it's really fun to do that. I think the engagement is higher when you begin to implement those science and engineering practices and those next-gen performance expectations because they, they begin to, to apply what they know. And so that's the biggest thing is their application. When I look at the next-gen science standards, I think these are going to be fun. And we're going to make it fun, and I want science to be fun, and I want them to enjoy learning. And when you see kids engaged and wanting to be here, that's my wake up.